Welcome back. If you're a nutball about theater like we are and you live in Northwest Ohio, Southeast Michigan, then you're at the right podcast. You're listening to Stage Door, a theater podcast. Today we're talking to a couple of stars from Bowling Green State University's Pippin. And I don't know anything about this show, so that's always a bonus when I don't know anything (laughs) because then I can ask all sorts of questions because maybe you don't have any idea what the show is about either. So, Katie, this is kind of a family reunion again. Oh, yeah. So you and you and Ron here. So you played the baby Wednesday. Yes. Yeah. And and Ron was the dad the whole time. And Mm -hmm. and so this is like, yeah, like a little family. And then you also, first of all, you never write him anymore. It's like you go off to college. Wednesday's growing up, (laughs) but I'm not ready. (laughs) Wednesday's growing up. She'll be Thursday before you You know. Yeah, Yeah, you go off to college. You never, ever write him anymore. And then you also played the big sister of my son. Who's taller than me now. Well, that happens. (laughs) Well, Katie, you're just short. That's the real reality of it. That that does happen. How tall are you, Katie? I'm 5'2". 5'2". That's normal. Perfect. Perfect. When I'm almost a foot taller than you. Wow. Well, almost. Everybody's almost a foot. Ain't <laughs> that the truth? <laughs> <laughs> my mom's shorter than me, though. She's like four eleven. Oh, nice! Oh my yeah. god! So you go around making fun of her all the time. Like, hey, what's up? What's up? Shrimp? I can like rest my head on her head. It's, it's, oh, wow. it's so cute. That's <laughs> like a, an, she's like <laughs> she's an like an odd. aerial view of a normal person. Like, <laughs> I don't. So I don't know this show at all. So <gasps> the thing we're gonna do is we're gonna like, of course, introduce mm. the show, see yes. what it is. This oh, is Bowling Green crazy. State University. Yes. We've never had Bowling BGSU on here. Yes. You guys are the first yes. podcast to have BGSU represent. Katie. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> fist bump. What? Represent a failing fist bump. Yes. Sorry. It's a good thing this isn't video podcast. <laughs> yeah, really. So, what is the show? I don't know what it is. Katie, what is so? Katie, you are playing Catherine. Catherine, and what? you are playing Dakota. Charles. Charles, yes, mm-hmm. yeah, Pippin. They're doing Pippin. Pippin. I introduced that in the in the intro. I said Pippin that, is. Uh, it's about hobbits. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Friends of. We know Frodo. nothing about the show, they're so that's the of bonus. Frodo. Yes. Pippin. <laughs> what is the show? What's Pippin? <laughs> yeah, tell us. So it's written by Stephen Schwartz, and it's about the life and times of this little kid dude named Pippin. Oh, as he's you know traveling through life, his father is Charlemagne. That is me. Oh, okay. That is you. I'm like that's, it, that's the whole story. <laughs> no, so, so, so basically, like what the whole premise of the show is about is Pippin. Um, he has just graduated from college, okay. top of his class, Ooh, fancy and. Pants. But he doesn't know what to do with his life. And he Mm. has the whole thing is, is he wants his life to have purpose, to have meaning. And he wants to find that thing that is completely fulfilling, which you actually hear in one of the lines of his songs. He is going through life trying to find something that to him is completely fulfilling. That's the main arc of the show. Okay. That, that's it. So that sounds like Avenue Q. So basically, what happens is, um, by like, after he start, he tries some things. They don't all work out for him. Uh, he ends up uh, meeting Catherine and oh. her son, and they kind of, you know, spark yeah. something. Wait, wait, wait! This is a love interest. Catherine is the love interest Again, of Pippin. No, mm-hmm. nothing about this show. Yeah, <laughs> when, yeah. when I hear Pippin, I don't think it's going to be a romantic show. I no. feel like you know somebody's going to be in long stockings or something. Yeah. Oh, you know, it's actually know. it's a very it's a very out there show. So yeah. like especially like the coolest thing is like the first number. You got to sell it, man. It's called it, yes. Oh, I will. Hardly anybody knows the show that is listening. I bet. <laughs> yeah. Well, and to be honest with you, the original was what 1974. Wow. It was Fosse. Bob Fosse. So yeah. It's, yeah. Fosse. Fosse it's, it's a Fosse show. Yep. It's like the um, seventh Bob Fosse show we've had in a row, I feel like. I <laughs> well, it's Bob Fosse. Yeah. So, <laughs> but um, I think that the coolest thing, like, in terms of the show is like the very first number, which is called Magic to Do. And just in the line of it, just the line Magic to Do is it's, it's talking about the, these players, these tr- a troop of players that are kind of act like. Pippin's thoughts almost, but we all have them. It's just like those, those, like you could guess you could call them inner demons. Oh, okay. But like, basically they, um, the leading player who is, um, one of the leads in the show, uh, she basically guides 
Pippin through this whole journey of the entire show. This is one of the voices in his head. Mm, yes, oh, okay. the, yes, and this is this is probably the main voice in I, his head. I have no. voices. Yes, we all have voices. <laughs> they, they, they mean well. Joy, they, they right? Try. You have joy, yeah. not sadness. <laughs> yes, I hope. yes. Okay. The show's really like hockey, yeah. a show within a show. One hundred percent. So, like, you have this player troupe, and the show starts with they like. What does that mean? <laughs> like, a, like a troop of like players. A so, like, a traveling troupe. T R O U P E. They're doing a play. They're doing yes. a show. Ah, yeah. Okay. And so, before every show, they always pick a new actor to play Pippin. Oh. But the the little plot twist near the end. Spoilers. If no, don't. Don't no spoil. Spoilers. No, no, no spoilers. Don't spoil. Don't spoil. Don't spoil. Don't spoil. Don't spoil. Oh, yeah. dang it. No, so now you don't have anything to say? What the? <laughs> yeah, we're it. done. Her thought guess, was there. I guess and... we're done. Yeah. Thanks for That's coming. It. But I will yeah, say, he's... maybe something to uh, kind of excite people is our director has actually slightly changed the very ending very subtly, and it is extremely mm. powerful. Okay. So, okay. okay. So, let me, okay, let me try and summarize <laughs> what I heard. Yes. I heard... Yeah. It's a guy who graduated from college, doesn't know what he's doing, has people talking in his head, and he meets somebody he loves. And they're doing a play. Oh, and they're doing a play. But somebody, somebody is picked to be Pippin, but it changes. It mess. Yeah, we the can't. play is the 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 musical itself is the play that they're doing. Okay. So yeah, that's what the that's what oh. the the whole. But what point makes of the it players. cool? I guess is what I'm looking. Because when I hear that, I'm like, I don't know if that's enough to get me goals. So what is it the that's first thing I would like to show? say is um, in that first number, magic to do. We've got s- some quite interesting things happening <laughs> we have an entire dance break where there's flips um there's okay, flips see? there's um jazz hands there's t- oh of yeah course. of course oh, there's yeah. tumbles people <laughs> are tumbling <laughs> people are tumbling i think we've got one girl who's like got, doing a back bend and walking like a spider like we have a bunch of cool things that are happening and the first half of the show there it's actually a very choreo heavy show oh yeah it's a so, saucy show mm-hmm. so it's Dance, dance, uh, dance. Yep. When there is a, when they get the chance, they throw in another dance break <laughs> in there. One hundred percent. Poet over there. So we, so acrobatic stuff. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Is everybody in this show part of the musical theater department at Bowling Green, or did they have to bring in gymnasts? Mm-mm. Okay. Wow. Yeah. So They're guys, all musical theater. So you guys students. are good then. We have yeah. We have really strong dancers. Okay. We have really strong dancers. Now, and are you guys? Up to dancing that Ooh, much? You... There's a reason why I'm the king. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say that you're the king. Yeah, I'm. That's the yeah. Charlemagne. The king. Charlemagne is the king. And Katie, you're taking that runs. Tap. Yeah, I'm a tap empire. dancer, All but right. there's no tap in it. No. It's mostly okay. like jazz. Jazz for sure. Oh. Lots of jazz hands. Lots of jazz. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yes. Lots of jazz. So huge tumble scenes, huge dancey scenes, and then the music is just there? Or is it okay? The oh, music it's fabulous. Is See? Come amazing. on, man. It's Steven, Steven Schwartz. Schwartz. <laughs> like, I mean, Wicked, you know, oh, okay. Godspell. Like, that's oh. Steven Schwartz. It's yeah. Which, fun fact oh. about Steven Schwartz. Um, there was actually um, a scene that our director wanted to slightly change because of some recent, somewhat recent events that happened in BG that make what the show is about and that particular scene a little triggering. So our director decided to email the person who owns the rights to the show um, at MTI and said, hey, these are the changes I want to make. These are why I want to make these changes. Is that going to be okay? And Stephen Schwartz himself emailed him back and said, yes, you can make these changes, and I want to let you know, I want your cast, tell them to have a great show. Oh, wow. Steven Schwartz said that to us, <laughs> and that's just been it's surreal, to be honest. Steven Schwartz. That's yeah. nice. I would, he, didn't, he wasn't all jerky about it. He'd be like, no. don't touch my art. Yeah, no, for yeah, sure. See, and I can you know, never be famous. And you know, it's, it's funny, be too, because I, I think it's really interesting that he gave the op- – he let – he was very, very nice about it. And to be honest with you, a lot of people will change little things. Who's going to know? Yeah. Right. I mean, let's be honest. Mm-hmm. True. So he was very, very happy that our director actually reached out and said, hey, was is it okay to make these? To, right. Yeah, to even ask. To reach out. So that, I bet, definitely helped. I'm sure you're right. Because I guess, I don't know. I, if I was, uh, I'd be like, no. Nah. 
Don't touch my art. Don't ever. <laughs> right. <laughs> you you say the F word because I wrote the F word. Yeah. I don't wanna, oh, don't, yeah. Don't you knock that out for me. Oh, for sure. For that's sure. how I talk all the time. So F and say it. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> so there's great dancing, great songs. What's one of the good songs? I, I, again, I, I, are there songs in the show? I guess what I'm asking is like, would we would people know them? Oh, yeah. I I'm mean, assuming you guys have heard the song Corner of the Sky. Sing it. Uh, or give me a melody because I don't um, know that. Like, let me ha- let me think. tell you how dumb I am. Okay? <laughs> let me show you how dumb I am. I saw Oliver for for the first time. I saw Oliver. I was like, "Foo glorious!" I said, "That's in the show." <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> I thought that was just just a in, commercial. No, yeah. I thought that was in the the Ice Age. Oh. You know, I'm like, <laughs> I knew I've seen it in commercials. I saw it in Ice Age. I had no idea where it came from originally because it was just in. Like the common vernacular now. So are there? I think I think the reason why. Well, and I'll, even here in a second, I'll sing a little bit of it so yeah. you can kind of get it. Um, but basically, the reason why I think "Corner of the Sky" is one that she pointed to is it's a big, big song for tenors to do oh, in yeah. auditions. Oh. Every like, musical a, theater tenor boy will sing it oh. at there some point in an audition. In the there is so like <laughs> uh, that's giants in the sky. Oh. I actually played that part in high big, school. Big, big Funny. Tall, oh, I thought she said "corn in big the sky." Tall, so oh, corn in the sky. <laughs> also scary. So like the beginning, it goes, everything has its seasons, everything has its time. Show me a reason and I'll soon show you a rhyme. Cats fit on the windowsill, children fit in the snow. But yeah, so it's a really... Do not the, yeah. Yeah. That's beautiful. That was good. It's a shame it's, I've never heard it before. By the, it's, everybody. And, and by the way, Dakota, who yeah. are you? <laughs> well, he just did yeah. this right in the middle we're, of our living room. We, oh, no warming up, we, no we nothing. We've yeah. never yeah. seen you in He's Toledo, fabulous. have we? Have no, seen. no. I'm, a, um, I'm actually uh, a senior at BGSU okay. doing musical theater. Um, I'm only... This is only my second year at BG. I'm a transfer student. Okay. Um, I transferred from Sinclair Community College in Dayton, Ohio. Oh, okay. Um, I got my vocal degree there, my associates in vocal performance, and then um, I transferred to BG to do the two years to get my um, MT degree. degree. And um, the, one of the main reasons why I did that is because when I went to Sinclair, I actually did one year there of theater. And I enjoyed it, but they didn't do any musicals because they didn't have strong singers. Uh. And I'm, I want to be in musicals. That's mm-hmm. like that's the That's where I want to be, and that's where – my passion lies. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to get classical training and just get my vocal degree and then transfer and then just go from there. Because I think what's important for me is my voice was what I wanted to focus on the most because I was given a God talent, a talent that that I got from God and I want to be able to exploit that. Mm -hmm. So that's me. And you show up at BG and you get this part that's two good. years later. Two years later. Okay. <laughs> two yes. years later. So you yes. had to work at the Gap first. For yeah. <laughs> I work at Kroger in the customer okay, service desk. So. <laughs> you just walk in and just steal all the parts. No. Yeah, no, 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 no. Like, no, here no. I am. <laughs> yeah, it's, I'm, it's, it's, been, it's been amazing. And I honestly picked this program at BG mainly because of two reasons. One, because of our um, director, the chair, Doc, mm-hmm. um, Dr. Ellison. He is a phenomenal person. I just, he's always has so much passion. It could be in the middle of the day and he just, you can tell he has so much passion and energy for what he does. And he puts that into his students. And that's the main reason why. And the I second reason because Katie, right? Oh, 100%. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. I definitely knew Katie before I You guys were pen paling back yeah. and forth, right? <laughs> yes, yeah. Because right. she was in prison, so she, had, yeah. she needed somebody yeah. to talk right, to. Right, right, right. <laughs> yeah, they let her out. They let, yeah, phew, thank goodness. Yeah. Figured you were a good influence. Maybe you could watch her while she's at Bowling Green. <laughs> right, so, right. Yeah. So <laughs> you said that you always wanted to be in musical. It's not a song. I want to be in a musical. Yes, that's from Rotten. Like something <laughs> Rotten. So, oh, such a fun music. show. So you such just said show. something really great about BGSU theater department. Why is it? What's so special about? Well, BGSU? You, Katie, you went. Well, you didn't go there initially either, though. So no, you went there I didn't. too. So why did you end up going to? Bowling I mean, Green? I was also a vocal major at the University of Toledo. Oh, um, fist bumped. Okay, <laughs> people can't see that. Okay, we got this, this okay. awkward they pause. They should just be able to sense yeah, ma- it's the friendship. Pound it. Yeah, right. Sure. Yeah, pound it. Pound it. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> but, so, um, so then you went to Bowling Green yeah, as well. Yeah, because I also just figured out that it wasn't exactly for me that I wanted to do musicals mm-hmm. because, like, that's always what I've done, and I didn't 
want to leave that. Um, and I met Dakota at Bowling Green, so it wasn't awful. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's me, so. Oh, no. mm-hmm. Yes, yes. <laughs> totally it's, and so you liked it there, obviously. Oh, yeah. So oh, good, yeah. So, okay. um, so when is this show? I don't even know when this show's going to be. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, so it's the it's April 7th through the 10th. Okay. Um, the 7th, it's an 8 p.m. showing. The 8th, it's an 8 p.m. showing. The ninth, it's a two p.m. matinee, and then an eight p.m. Okay, showing. so there's four shows or and five then shows. Sunday, there's a, another two. Oh, p.m. so there's show. five shows. Yeah, yeah and what is the name? And it's right on campus, right? You got yes. a theater yep. right yes. there. Yep. Yep. Kind of, right in the Wolf Center. What kind of theater? Wolf is it theater. brand new? Yeah, it's Wolf the Center? big, huge building that's a slant. Oh yeah, that's the that's the theater mm-hmm. building. Oh, it's that's, new. Yeah, it's, yeah, they, yeah. It's relatively new. It was flat, but it sank, so it's tilted. Oh, that's a new theater. Yes, oh, yeah. Good. It's called the Wolf? The Wolf Center. The Wolf Center. Center. Wolf Center. Mm-hmm. Okay, the guy so that designed that. the whole building actually designed the 9-11 Museum in New York. Mm. So it's a... He didn't know how to design theaters, so... <laughs> 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 oh. There's, like, no... Um, Backstage dressing rooms. Oh, like, there's no. this awkward hallway that, like, anyone can walk. It's, yeah. <laughs> gotcha. But do the guests know any of that, or is oh, it just no. wonderful it's, for the guests? Oh, it's wonderful for them. It's an experience. It's just oh, yeah, you guys sure. have to change for in the sure. Oh, yeah. And it's what I love about the wolf is it's just glass. Oh, oh. yeah. It's cool, very, cool. like, yeah, like, the very front is all just glass. It's, like, under this, like, overhang, and it's just glass, and then the glass doors to get in. How so many shows cool. does Bowling Green do? Because, again, I, I mm-hmm. only know enough about this show because a uh, pre-existing relationship with Katie, <laughs> and I knew she was in the show, and I was like, hey, well, I want to get her on the show. I want to get mm-hmm. this Bowling Green on. So how many shows do they do? They do plays? They do musicals? Oh, They mostly do straight plays. They do, like, I want to say, like, Oh. Five or six. Yeah, they do their half wow. plays. Because wow. mm-hmm. they do um, our main stage productions, but then we also have our elsewhere productions, mm-hmm. which are usually directed by the students. So usually, like a student, a student mm-hmm. will um, have like a project idea and they'll get it approved by the staff. Project idea, mm-hmm. like. I want to do this. Like, yeah, I want to direct this, or gotcha. this is a play that I wrote, or like oh, a really? song oh, yeah. that so, I wrote. Okay. Yeah. But they could actually go up to somebody and say, hey, I nobody's done, you know, this show in a while, and I'd like to do it because nobody's done it, and gets approval from the heads of the people or whatever yeah. to do it. And then mm-hmm. they can direct cool. it. Yeah. Yep. Oh. So that's, is it, are these um, people who go to school there? As directors, or is this okay? Uh, you're mm-hmm. nodding, so that's a yes. <laughs> <Yes>. Okay, <laughs> yeah. So that means for sure. So that's what they are there to go to school yes, for. They're yeah. there to be directors. Not they, all, they also have sometimes. I think they also have people that are like trying to go down stage manager route that also let them have the opportunity to maybe direct because okay. sometimes those can. But generally, it's never one of the on stage performers though, because you guys are just generally singing and dancing yeah. and doing your thing and oh. that night. BG is really good with getting students involved in everything. So there's a lot of opportunities for performers if they want to to direct or to stage manage. They have a a program where everyone has to do 30 hours in either the costume shop or in the um, scene shop. And then you go on, you have to be on like crew for one of the shows. So there is a lot of overlap. So oh, that's very cool. Oh, it's it's so. It's cool. very immersive. Oh, one thousand yeah. percent. I never knew how to sew a button oh. before <laughs> going to BG, now. but now I can sew all the buttons. <laughs> all the buttons. That's just buttons one button. You can do three or four on a shirt. Yes. Nice. nice. Well, that's very cool. Then, so they they kind of force you. They force you oh, to yeah. do these oh, things. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. And Costume, I'm sure it obviously right. gains a lot more respect for those people doing that as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, mm-hmm. it's, it's crazy. Do they what respect you, you back or are they like, you guys are just divas? Screw those guys. <laughs> I think there's they a make, lot. They should make the person sewing the buttons every day go on stage and sing some songs and see what it's like. Yeah. Hey, hey quick pro quo, it right? Is, oh, yeah. I mean, that is fair. Why do you guys yeah. always have to be the one to go and learn what they do and they never come on stage and do what you do? That's actually a really good question. question. That's actually a really good question. Up stage manager, get your butt out there and sing that solo in front of you know seven thousand people. Oh, what's the matter? It's harder than you thought it was, huh? (laughs) It's kind of crazy that you say that because I've never thought about that. Well, I'm just saying, why do they get away with it? Why do they get away with it? Because there's always that that that. Oh, well, if you learn more about what they do, then you can understand. It's like, well, they. Do, do, I'm going to be <laughs> honest with you. I think on the tech side of things, the reason why they have the performers do tech and not vice versa is just because, in my opinion, the thing that we the things that you learn in tech can also be used in everyday life. 
Whereas I don't necessarily know if acting and singing on stage can necessarily... Everyday life, like learning how to use a screwdriver? Like, I'm not going <laughs> to walk into Walmart and burst out into song mm. unless I feel like it. But you know you, what I mean? You tell them you have no confidence in yourself now that you've been a theater guy, that you couldn't walk into a boardroom and give a presentation oh, because that, you're now a that. Aha! But see, here's, that's the, see? Di- but here's there the difference. There are skills with, learned being in theater. That's what I was going to go back to what you said earlier was, um, what is it about BG? And this is you just uh-huh. sparked something. Ooh, um ooh. BG, what I find, and one of the reasons why I chose BG is because it's not a normal BFA. It is a musical theater. It's actually a communications degree with a specialization in musical theater. And that's why I oh. that's why I chose BG mostly is because now I've got the opportunity to have this musical theater degree, but also have an entire bachelor's degree in communications to back me up in case things don't happen when I decide to go to New York or I decide to, you know, go for things that are on mm-hmm. Broadway or bigger things that if it doesn't work out for me, I have that communications degree under my belt that can take me on so many different avenues. And Very you cool. can sew. And you yes, can, and, and I can, can sew, sew, which can come in Could handy. Come in. All right, Katie, you got to talk now because I need him to drink his hot tea over yeah. there. Yeah, That's yeah, now probably tea. lukewarm tea. Ooh. So it's okay. <laughs> I like it. What's your anyway. favorite song in the show, Katie? Oh, so you get to you get you're the love interest, right? Of, yes, of I Pippin. am. So they say they pick a different pip in every show. So you kiss like a bunch of guys. Or? Oh yeah, but oh. <laughs> this one this one's special though. Oh. This one's special. I've never fallen. For Before, one of the Pippins? Yeah, I've never fallen oh. for one of the Pippins. So it's like, oh my gosh, oh. who was this new guy? And of course, these I won't spoil it. Yeah, don't no. spoil. Okay, <laughs> see, that's good. I'm so you, learning. <laughs> so you've had the other Pippins yeah. on stage before? Yeah. Yeah, that was, that was just a physical thing. This no Pippin's just deal. different. This one is this true love. This one's different. Oh yeah, true love. Oh. Okay. Yeah. All right, anything else you guys want to say before we say adios to everybody? <gasps> that was so I'm not- Fast. Oh no, my it wasn't God. really fast. I think we've been talking for like I 50 talk minutes. More. I want more. <laughs> oh, I'll give you as much as you oh, want. I want to <laughs> away. Oh. I want a little more. Uh, so, Katie, you've been like killing it all over the place. You do like six shows a year. Yeah. You just did back to back Croswell shows. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I just did um, Something Rotten in October and then right after that I did a Christmas story. You were I was, a dancing lamp. I was a dancing <laughs> yes. lamp. Wait, the that's hi- what you were is a dancing lamp? That's a character in a Christmas story? Oh, it was it's the highlight of my I've career. seen that show and I don't remember that. So I think the cross <laughs> just made that up. Oh no nope. No, nope, they that's part made of it, huh? these like fifteen pound lamps. Gosh, it's half your ha- weight. Oh. Great. <laughs> <laughs> but we had to hoist them in the air and like oh. fling them around. God Plus, Deb Calabrese was the choreographer yeah. for that. And if you know her, she yeah. goes hard with the choreography. She, you know what I mean? Yeah, she She's was the like, choreography. She's like, we're going to do this. Yeah. She was a dance teacher TSA forever. And then she that's what her, her passion is, obviously. She's so wonderful. Yeah. She's like, we're going to do this. She's like, it's 15 pounds. You can do it. You Start can. lifting some weights. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, ah. So she's out doing six shows a year. Where are you at? You don't go out. Um, well, to be honest with you, um, I... My workload's been kind of heavy, and that's just because I wanted to get out in two years. So you know, my yeah, it's definitely been nuts. She's just crazy. Well, to be on, I'm going to be honest with you. I think the biggest reason why I haven't done anything outside of um, BG since I've been here, I did a lot of stuff at like home, but here, um, it's because like things like the Croswell. That's a long drive. That is a long drive. And to be honest with you, I don't know if I, I don't know if I could do that, let alone afford it. Especially yeah. with it's gas, stressful. Oh, yeah. Poor <laughs> college go there. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. also true. Yeah, but um, and also it also another big factor is I got to BG right as soon as the pandemic hit. Uh, so yeah. that also didn't didn't help very, at very all. True. So I got to sing a duet. Well, <gasps> sing with Katie. Oh my heart! <laughs> just just a little damp eyes as we sang. Oh yeah, it was just sweet. a little it was bit. A father daughter moment. I was crying every single. Yeah, night. it was beautiful and. But the, the, here's my story with Katie is um, <laughs> we're doing Adam's Family together, and the director, a friend from New York who is trying to relaunch the Adam's Family tour, came and saw our show and liked some of yeah. it. So we're, we're backstage getting ready to go on, and I go, you know that guy who saw us? He wants me to play Gomez in his pilot. <laughs> and I don't know if you remember that. I do. And, I do. And you went white as could be and you, <laughs> and you said 
What about me? <laughs> oh my gosh, that sounds like a Katie thing to say. And that's my Katie story. She was, she was like smiling with her groin yeah. teeth going, I'm Angel so got, happy says, for I'm you. kidding. I'm kidding. He did not ask me to be anything. Oh, I'm that's a very gullible yes. person. Yes. <laughs> you know, something that's interesting too is um, not, know, not knowing Katie for a long time. Her and I are very close. Oh yeah. And I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that once we got to, um, when I got to BG, we were both like, Oh my gosh, you were a vocal degree person before this too? We suffered together. And then, yes, <laughs> right. And then, well, and I think that like we have sung so many songs together just in my apartment or in a car or, and, um, and actually I'm going to use this outlet now that I can. <laughs> um, I actually am doing a cabaret this semester. Um, You're producing be, it. Uh, so basically what's going to happen is, um, I am singing about an hour's worth of music with an accompanist, and it will be yes, an hour? yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, bye bye. Yep, throat. fourteen <laughs> songs. Fourteen songs. Yeah. Drink that tea. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Trust me, I will. But I will be honest with you, I'm very, very excited for it because I, being with the the uh, vocal coach that I've been with for about oh, two years now, has made my life so much easier because. What I think a lot of people don't realize when it comes to singing is less effort is better. And with less effort, you can save your voice and you can yeah. do uh -huh. things like eight shows a week. You know uh -huh. what I mean? Yes. Yeah. But um, so I'll be doing it. Uh, I haven't gotten an exact date yet, but I'm planning on doing it either. I think it's April 19th and the 20 or the 21st. It's a Tuesday or Thursday of that week. Where? Um, at the Clazelle in downtown Bowling Green. It's a rundown oh, yeah. movie theater. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And Katie, will you have to do something like this too? No, he's just being hardcore. I'm doing man. this instead of doing my jury. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. So, but yeah. Katie Is... will be doing a duet with me. Oh, hey. nice. Um, yeah, so we are going to be doing um, Something to Believe in from Newsies. And then I actually have another person, my roommate, who I'm doing a duet with as well. And then, um, but yeah, the rest of the music, I'm going to be doing Sondheim, Lloyd Webber, um, a bunch of a bunch a bunch of songs, but um, cool. I'm super 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 excited about it. It's going to be a great time. Cool, yeah. cool. Go see Pippin though. Yes, yeah. oh, oh, please, yeah. please, please. Go oh see my Pippin. gosh, it's yeah. going to be amazing. Let's get back to Pippin. That's why we're here, people. Yes. Talk about, please, talk about Bowling Green State University and the program you guys are doing yeah. there. It seem sounds to, like it's seem very to love it. Seem to be thriving there. Oh, yeah. yeah, it seems to be a very uh, versatile degree. Yeah. Like they, they want oh, to yeah. stage do stuff, stuff. Learning yeah. and all of that. So there's yes. so much you can do with a BAC. B -A -C. Mm -hmm. Like if I wanted to go into journalism or something, I, c I can do that now. So I have so many more options than just performing. That's what performing. it is? It's a BAC? That's yes, it's that? a Bachelor's in Arts, Arts and Communications. Cool. Cool, cool. All right, go see the show, people. Yes, go thank see you for fans. coming on. We we love talking to Katie and also this guy, who <laughs> 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 we just met, but he seems very wonderful. So I see why Katie <laughs> likes him already. Uh, drink your teas. Yes, we'll do. All right, and this is me begging you now to go to iTunes and give us a five star review and leave us a review. Written reviews are awesome. They make my head get really big. They make Tom's head get even bigger. They make Ron's head get even bigger than that. So if you could just like write something nice about us, it would make us feel good. And then it also makes us realize that we're not talking to ourselves and to the universe. So again, thanks for listening to another episode of Stay's Door, and we will be back next Friday. Bye.